me that he has mentioned something about that in the future. So if he has a chance to speak on that. So I'll pass the baton to anyone else who wants to raise their hand. Who, okay, Ignacio. Since you mentioned that, Arun, I, I did find the presentation uh, very skillfully done, Lucas. I really enjoyed it. It was funny. Uh, I did find the a picture on the side a little disrupted because I wasn't sure which one you were talking about until I caught on. Uh, I think that there is a way to sh only show the principal slide and for you as a presenter to see both. And then you would have to play with your setup on your PowerPoint or if it was uh, key on, on a Mac, I, I'm not sure what you're using, but I think that having only show what you're talking about is going to be a little more direct for the audience to get the message across. But I, I enjoyed it and I think it was, it was funny. Thank you for sharing. Okay. I'm looking at the gallery view of everyone <clears throat> I see. Uh, anyone wants to, okay, Jim. Yes, Lucas enjoyed that presentation. It's interesting. I was thinking, okay, this must be a, an icebreaker, but the self-deprecating humor was just awesome. You did such a good job at that. If, we, if everybody had their microphones turned on, I would believe that there would be a lot of laughter that might have drowned out your presentation. So that was very enjoyable and uh, just keep up the good work. I can't wait to see your, your next ones if we can see those. So thank you. More hands, please. Elizabeth always has something to say. <laughs> <laughs> she ought to unmute though. Actually, Ron, this might be one of the times where I'm not uh, too sure I could give uh, any thought. I think the, the as far as your presentation itself, um, I love pictures, so I really enjoyed having, you know, it takes you back. I just did a presentation recently, and I used a whole bunch of pictures to tell my story. It was actually an icebreaker. So um, pictures really help because you have those things in your mind and in your thoughts, but we don't, and a picture is worth a thousand words. So I thought that was a, a really nice job. Uh, at first, I was like, let's, when you had Andy Garcia circled, I thought, Wait a minute, and he doesn't look like Andy Garcia. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that was you, um, but that was going to be something you were going to say in the future. I, I'm not sure that I could give you any tips for improving that presentation because it seems like you already have it set up and you knew what you were going to say and uh, you had a thought that you were going to uh, kind of uncover. And uh, I think um, something about your change and lifestyle and how – it's a very uh, personal thing, you know, so it's, it's kind of a hard presentation to do. And um, so I, I'm not too sure I captured the whole reason of why there was that change, but maybe it had something to do with just your inner feelings that only you know, right? And, and only that's between you and God. And so um, I just would say that uh, you just couldn't improve that too much more unless you kind of do what Ignacio said, and that's to try to bring in the pictures as you're talking about them specifically, right? So thank you, and thank you for sharing that, all that with us. I see that.